When Humphrey Nichols isn't picking his nose, he's trying his best not to scare himself. Humphrey was diagnosed with jitophobia at the time of his birth. This life-threatening condition is caused by a person being scared of their own scream. It was 2007. Jonathan and Vanessa Nichols were expecting their first child, a child with jitophobia, a condition that doctors say is one in a million. Uh, Dr. Flowery, we're rolling. Oh, oh, uh, yes, okay. Yeah, the, it's a really intense disease. Uh, he can be relaxing, sitting on a sidewalk, eating an ice cream sandwich, and boom. Uh, he's spiraling out of control and having a seizure. The real victims here are the parents. Uh, and I feel very sorry for them. Well, I, I, I definitely think that there is a place for Humphrey in society. Uh, my, my recommendation would be a, a psych ward or some other such institution. Family and friends told the Nichols that Humphrey would probably be an outcast from society. And they were right. He has no friends. My first memory and, and our first experience was his 10-hour birth. After about the 10th hour, he was finally ready to enter the world, and I was just excited to be done. So I gave it one last push, and he screamed, and then nothing. I found out later that he had passed out in the nurse's arms, but I thought he died. Yeah. This has been, like, really really hard for us. And just imagine, you can't bring your kid to the movies. We brought him when he was seven to go see Saw. He's like, ah, ah! We went home and after the grocery store, like right afterwards, yeah. and I mean, we saw a kid on a tricycle and you'd think that he had seen, you know, death himself. There was, there was a point when Humphrey was younger where we really seriously considered putting him up for adoption, but ultimately, at the end of the day, we just couldn't do that to other parents. The Nichols quickly found a therapist, Dwayne Johnson, not to be confused with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who helped guide Humphrey through his condition. Humphrey's my favorite client. It's a shame he has this life-threatening condition, though. Every day is making progress. It's really inspiring, going from this pathetic little human that always yells and screams to a strong, capable young man. Wow. What an amazing story so far. Thank you for joining us or making it this far with us. Today in the studio, we have Humphrey Nichols, very brave man from what we've just seen. Now, Humphrey, may I call you Humphrey? Uh, what else would you uh, call me, sir? I don't know. So, Humphrey. It appears that the, that the screaming is affecting your life. Am I correct? Uh, yeah, that's like my whole condition. Humphrey, have you ever tried not screaming? Are you serious? Yes. That's like telling a p paraplegic person to get up and walk. And? What do you mean, and? Like, I, I, I can't stop screaming. It's a condition. I, I can't help it. So the screaming is affecting your life. How does this make you, how does this make you feel? I just, I get scared so often. I feel like I'll be like in the grocery store. And it's like I'm, I'm, I'm covered head to toe in peanut butter. And there's like, 20 vicious dogs in a naked dude just chasing after me. I'm gonna get my face ripped off. That reminds me of my college days. Interesting. So, Henry, I understand that uh, you have certain triggers that invoke this, if I'm correct. Yes, sir. Yes, I understand. Humphrey, I think I, think I can help you. I think I have something here to show you that you need to see. I would love to see it. Okay. One moment, if you don't mind.
Humphrey, I want you to take a really good look at this and tell me how it makes you feel. <laughs> Look at it! Look at it! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Just calm down, breathe. Breathe, you're okay. You're in a safe place. We're safe. We're safe. Are you, are you okay? You okay? Just as they hoped, Humphrey is beginning to conquer his jitophobia. Instead of suffering seizures every time he screams, he now only spooks himself until his parents get him to stop making any noise. I just take both my hands and I put them over his mouth and I just start shaking for about like, you know, 10 seconds and then he just goes to sleep and we can breathe again.